welcome back to my channel for another video. Today, I thought we could just have a little catch up and journal with me session. Just get into it. I have a pile of things that I pulled out this morning that were floating around. I've been trying to organize my stickers better and I finished my organization project and still don't feel better about it. So <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I found a couple things that like, I don't want to get rid of them, but I've had them for so long it's time to do something with it. I have an off cut of some sticker, oops, uh, this sheet with like one tiny thing on it, and then these rub-ons which just need to go, because they've been floating around forever, so I thought we could, um, you know hang out together for a little bit and put them in my journal. So how are you guys all doing? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear. I think I want to use some of these to fill up this space here. I did have a suggestion from some of my patrons, um, Burgess Taylor actually suggested that I put some kind of uh, point of view photo, like my favorite view in my office there. So I thought that would be fun. But first, I want to put a little bit in the background. So I'm just going to shove some of these rub-ons in there. I did not take that photo, so I, I'm not completing this spread today or anything, but I thought we could get a head start with these. I've been really trying to use all of my supplies. I'm always like a big advocate for using everything you have, and I feel like I got into such a groove with my other journals and stuff and like my style that I like stopped using a lot of my supplies and just kept using the same things over and over again, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but then I ended up with all of these supplies that were just there that I had used before and then forgotten about. Okay, so this watercolor paper does not like rub-ons. I do want to put a few more on here, though, just to even it out. This is going to be interesting. So, yeah. And it's been really fun. It was one of the reasons I chose to do this journal this year was so that I could really just get out of my safe groove that I had gotten into and really stretch my creativity more. And it's worked. I This journal has been amazing. I feel like I'm having, uh, not that I wasn't having fun before, but I feel like I'm having more fun again. Just like experimenting and using a wide variety of things because I, the journal is so different from what I was using before the pages and like the learning to work with them and the size that I've never worked with. It's just really, it's just really pushed me and my creativity and it's been awesome. And as you can see, it's also been a giant learning curve. <laughs> Okay, like I said, this isn't really working, but I just want to to even it out now that I <laughs> now that I put those down. It works though. They're not perfect, but I mean, it also could be the rub-ons, but I think it's the paper. It's just so textured and cotton, like it pulls up very easily. I'd love to know what's been inspiring you lately. Or maybe you're stuck in a rut. We can talk about that too. And 
and none of that is working. All right, giving up on that, on that paper at least. Um, so that means we have to find a page <laughs> that is different. I finally finished some pages in this journal, which was like such an amazing feeling, I have to tell you. It was just so awesome. Because I work on my pages in stages, they're often like not finished and I don't get around to the writing and stuff, but I busted, busted my butt the other day and was like, you need to do this, Leanne. Um, so I worked on that before one of my Patreon live streams and it was great. It was just uh, such a relief, you know? Yeah, see that worked so much better. These are from, I think Jane Davenport from like literally forever ago. Really am not into buying any of her new stuff, but I want to use these that I have because I did enjoy the swatches. I think it's a cool idea. I think I might actually make some on my own. Like these swatches are some swatches that I gave to my patrons in their mailers like two or three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> something crazy like that uh, so I think it would be fun to maybe make some stickers like that that's right can't do it on the cotton I could probably do it on the craft this is my March spread that I started yesterday and yes I know March is already like we're already like almost a quarter of the way done, but it's fine. In the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter to me if I know exactly like what day something happened on. It's like, th look, this happened within at least the beginning of the year. Uh, even if something on my January pages ends up on there and it wasn't technically in January, it's like three years from now, I'm not even gonna care that it wasn't like that specific month. It's just going to be something that happened, you know, in this year. So there's my two unsolicited scents on that. I don't think really want to use the rest of these to be honest on any of those pages at least so I'm gonna put them down just like this for future Leon to worry about and if I don't like it when I come to it I'll just cover it up and I will have finally used all of these which was the goal Either the fibers in this paper are way too, well, fibrous, or those rub-ons just had definitely passed their expiration date. 
so we're going to do a little bit of experimenting. These are Tim Holtz rub-ons that are even older for sure. And we're going to put them on here. And if they only partially peel up, I am A-OK -okay with that. Because it's just going to be a layer. Oh yeah, I think it might have just been the other rub-ons, because this, yeah, is definitely sticking fine. So, go Tim Holtz, I'm obsessed with Ranger's quality, it is unbeatable. I've literally had these probably since I started my YouTube channel, which was in 2016. So, seven years ago. These rub-ons are probably seven years old. <laughs> and it's time to get them in a dang journal. My dog is judging me from the couch trying to figure out why I'm talking to my, what probably seems like myself, but to you. It's like nobody else is here, Mom. <laughs> You're losing it. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I have some stuck to my finger. Whoops. I like the idea rub-ons, but in application, they're such a pain in the butt. Like, in order to have used individual phrases of that, it would have been so difficult to cut that out. And then what do you do with all the bits that, like, you hadn't used yet? Alright, now that I got my arm workout for the day, it actually looks kind of cool. I want to go ahead and circle this here and now on here because it reminds me of a song. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So whenever I come to this, I want to be drawn to that, but it's going to be a ways before I get there. Probably another three months. <laughs> yeah, there's that. What else did we have? I had this sticker here from Surprise Stickers forever ago. And while her stickers were great and you got quite a lot for your money, they just ended up not being my style. I loved the idea of it, but anywho, none of that is really relevant. But this came in there, and I'm going to stick it in. Loving this, like, green and yellow vibes for March. It's fantastic. Alright, I need to find some place to stick this moon. That is the moon washi from my shop. You can find that in the description below. But one thing that I did that I really liked is I added this star glitter over this eye here. And I did, I added glitter, oh it's back here, here with some gel medium, which didn't turn out as cloudy. So, I mean with some matte medium. Which didn't turn out as cloudy as the gel did. So I should probably do that next time. But yeah, I don't know. It just, I love how it turned out. It's not something I've really done before in my journals. But um, I'm really glad that I did. Because it just looks so dang cool, you know? So that's something different that I've been playing with. Let's find a place for this bad boy. was a, like I said, a goof from my sticker cutting earlier. I'll just put it down over here randomly. Be 
because why not? And then I have that second thing of my name. I don't know why I got two, but I got two. So maybe I'll just put it in here inside my Hobonichi. I still have really yet to decorate the inside cover of this and we're officially halfway through the first notebook because I have the Evex. So I should probably get on that before, you know, it's, <laughs> it's pointless because the book's over. And I might as well put this in while we're here. I printed this off Instagram from the Zenful Goddess. I wish I knew who the actual artist was, but this is definitely not mine. I'm going to say that right now. <laughs> I definitely did not create this, although I wish I could. I've not had that much practice. Um, tape. It's this book is so ginormous it barely fits inside my filming frame so if i'm ever like crooked or off camera i do apologize um i'm still using the original phone that i started my channel with to film so i still can't see the screen <laughs> but yeah so there's that disclaimer And then this has been floating around my desk. So I think it's just going to get washed in. Oh, how perfect is that? Yes, that is amazing. I haven't really gotten to tip anything into this journal because um, these pages don't really like tip-ins. So that makes me very happy. Okay, next. I have some embarrassing photos of my boyfriend. Maybe I won't share those with you. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty cool there. Eventually, I'm definitely going to want to do some color like behind it, around it, but. This is good for starting to build the page. All right, I think we've added quite a few things at this point. So I'm going to stop there. The last thing I wanted to do today was I have changed out my supply that I use for the month. So for those of you that don't know, I mentioned it in some previous videos, but I'm kind of picking a supply to sit on my desk every month and then use um, so that I grab for it first, which is working out well. So this month I chose my gouache collection and I have it sorted between warm warm and cool tones so um maybe i'll just swatch those out i did the other day when i went to use a few i really struggled to open some of them and some of them i couldn't even get open because they're crusted shut so i suppose this would be a good time to reopen them all and make sure they're all still kind of working 
uh, and just do some swatches. So I'm going to leave you with music while I do all those swatches and I'll speed it up for you guys. But other than that, I think we're done for the day. So I will see you guys on the other side.
Okay, here we are. I finished all the swatches. It actually took me a little longer than I thought. I had to do it in two separate days. Uh, the left side took me an hour, which is absolutely crazy, but I had a sudden wave of inspiration as I was doing this to put the color uh, swatch on top of the cap as well. And before this is something that I wouldn't have done because I like to keep it like pristine, but with these it's super helpful because as you can see, like these are the three colors that it has in the label, but this is what they actually look like. <laughs> and a lot of the labels look like super similar in color until you like flip it up and you're like, oh, okay. So hopefully that will be helpful in the future. And since it's going to be what I'm working with this month, I can now kind of see all the colors and then match it uh, to the cap and use it so yeah that's it for me today you guys i just wanted to show you how that turned out thank you so much to my patrons for sponsoring today's video they allow me to continue doing what i do while also paying my bills and feeding my dog which is great uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in seeing more content from me, and I'm guessing you probably are if you made it to the end of this video, go ahead on over and check out my Patreon uh, just to see what's over there. We have lots of fun things, uh, including Zoom Hangouts, which we started doing uh, recently. So, with all that being said, I will see you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye!